Billy, let's start with you. I think there's a, a band there that, that knew the true significance of Subutio in our lives. I think it should be, I'm surprised more songs haven't been written about it. So Peter, you cut it there, because it's a great bit just after that where they're dressed in football gear, and you actually see Fergal Sharkey's knees. It's brilliant, it's well worth it. If out. one wasn't a student of Julian Temple's film techniques, though, uh, would that be a, a compilation you'd be interested in? Well, it's, it misses some of my favourite ones. It hasn't got Jimmy, hasn't got Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. It, and it hasn't uh, Get Over You, and uh, um, to name but two. And uh, the, the feeling I got from it was... Uh, I think, I'm sure in the houses all over the country now, people have looked at that and, and said to themselves, well, what a pity they had to grow up. Because there they are, like the, you know, the kind of like the musical Bash Street kids. And then they, they, they <laughs> suddenly, when they try and develop through their videos, everyone says, oh, no, this, we didn't want to see these suits, you know, we didn't want to see all this. Go back to the, you know, the, the Dr. Martins and the, you know, and the greasy haircut and everything. And there they are, you know, they're in a, in a cul-de-sac. Well, it's really. the way you can see them growing up through each clip. You can, yeah, you can see them. But I think as the, as the videos get technically better, the, the actual, you know, behind it, I'm not, not, not the songs get worse, but the actual feel of the whole thing, it dissipates, you know, yeah. much Tom, more preferable the early stuff. Tom, I mean, you can also see videos growing up, can't you? In, through That's the, the thing, they happen to, their career happened to go over a time when video was making a big transition. It starts out where the singer sings to camera and you see guitars and things in the background, and the last one, which um, got to have you back, directed by Don Letts. Don Letts in Bermondsey Hospital or something like that. It doesn't have a guitar in sight. It's uh, the, the band are all characters. They're just like members of a gang. And the, the spirit of the song comes over much better. And as, as the sound of live performance and the sound of records gets further and further apart through the, um, through the 80s, um, a band playing its instruments on the stage becomes less and less to do with what you actually hear on the record. And uh, I think the way you present yourself on television and visually generally uh, when you're presenting a record, has got to have a radical overhaul like, like it has. The only people who have ever managed that in a studio were Wham! on top of the Pops, who actually sort of brought a video to life. Uh, is that, I mean, very underrated, is. very underrated band. Oh, yeah, yeah. he is, yeah. I mean, they've come up and gone while Slade have kept going, it seems. I think, yeah. I, think that, I think that's a shame. I think, it's, I think it's mainly due to the push they were getting from record companies and all that. I don't think it's the band themselves. I'm sure they were into it and enjoying what they were doing but they didn't get the promotion because they didn't look the business on mm. TV. They were, they were there warts and spots and all and scraggy jumpers. <laughs> I mean, the business don't want to know about that, you know. They're not going to promote a band like that. But that, that's the reality of the business. They were true. They were true rock and roll. Right. Well, thank to you. Me. And as for the undertones today, well, Damien O'Neill and Michael Bradley have a new band called Eleven. John O'Neill is at home in Derry wondering what to do next. Bill Doherty is a surveyor. And Fergal Sharkey is about to release a single he's recorded with Madness for their new label, Camden Records.